Hey, what's going on everybody? A familiar view coming in this morning, doing lots of stuff today, but a little bit differently. I'm gonna change things up a little bit, and I want to know what you think about this style of video. Ordinarily, I would put the camera up and do a whole bunch of awesome angles and edit a video that takes hours and hours to put together, but what if I just set the camera right here and just let you guys see what it's like to install car audio? Because a lot of the time, the videos are going very smoothly, there's a rhythm to them, but when you're actually doing stuff, oh, there's sometimes no rhythm at all and you just gotta keep plugging away. Right now we're about to be installing our JY lithium batteries. We already did a complete installation video on them, but now that they have a fresh charge on them with our NOCO, we're gonna put them back and install everything the way it was. But in order to do that, we need to do things right and take our time with the process. So, why don't you guys go ahead and join me here as we get stuff done. When getting started with all this, it's crucial to maintain awareness of these right here because these are completely energized with our AGM bank beneath it and there is metal encased around the whole back. So, being careful is an understatement here as you just kind of have to work around and keep your eyes on everything. So, with everything still wrapped up, we can go ahead and grab our lithium. Stick this right in here. Ah, definitely convenient having this little slide in spot for them. So I can just push it over right into the positioning of the other terminal. And we'll position this up on top of the bar because that's what's gonna be uh, affixing the terminal to the bar through the lug. So let's get that connection which is right here. And luckily our copper has a little bit of a thread mark in there so I can just screw it in and that was completely unintentional. I didn't tap these with a die, it just happened that way. So I'm going to flush it up so now the bottom of the connection will fit right here and it should screw on very smoothly. Positive to positive, there we go. Just like that. Now I'm not going to screw it in all the way because we still need to position this the rest of the way. I just want it to be in a spot where it's not going to hit anything like that. And I had to use some offset washers to take up a little distance on the threads because the depth of the terminal isn't quite as deep as you would think, so I had to make up for it a little bit on the top. Positioned right here is a metal stopper which will allow us to move over the AGM, excuse me, the lithium bank gradually until it hits that spot and then it will be evenly spaced out to where it was. Oh god. Oh god. See? Now this is what I'm talking about. Something like this would ordinarily be edited out of the video. There's these little brackets that hold up the front of this lip. And see how there's a little notch in these batteries every couple inches? Well, one of those brackets is acting as a lock in this so I can't push it over so I actually have to lift it above and beyond that but uh, if, if this wasn't inside the video you, you wouldn't have even had any knowledge of that so I lift it up and I get it past that one spot and now it should sit right in like that Fucker. get in there there it is perfect right up against the the stopper right in there Nice and flush up against it, and we have a safe distance. Move this terminal over just a little bit to keep it parallel with the rest of them, and then tighten them down. Remember, never over tighten your battery terminals. I know it's very tempting to reef on these with a lot of force, but don't, especially if you already have a lock washer. Let that do the work. That's why you added it there in the first place. That means we're ready for our last lithium battery, so let's grab it and chuck it in. Put it in, slide it on. Oh. Oh. oh, the damn zip ties are getting in the way back there. All right, I'm gonna position it right here so we can get all this stuff situated first. But I just wanna make one quick note here is that see how these are all strapped together? I'm not using that as a point of force for holding it together. I'm kind of sandwiching it like this and holding it like this. I'm not just letting these terminals be the bearer of all that bad news of force. So just in case you were wondering if there was any added or unnecessary uh, pressure on those, I'm just holding it like this, like a cake. 
And then, same old, same old with our hardware. Get this ready to go. And like the other one, this one is also partially threaded, so it'll act as a safety on this lug right here, so it won't hit the heat sink or, or anything like that. Positioned in, I'm just gonna lift it up a little bit and go over the metal bracket like that. It'll happen periodically since they are every couple inches. I'll need to just lift it up a little bit like that. Perfect. Get this ready to go in. Keep it away from all the dangerous side objects. Just like this. All right, I think I'm over the hump. I think I'm over the hump. I got about a half inch left till I hit the, uh, the barrier here. Ah, the stop. All right, I'm there. She's positioned and she's centered. Let's get it back in here. Make sure everything's negative, positive, positive to positive, negative to negative. There'll be no spark because our AGMs are still in the circuit and our capacitors and our amplifiers were already charged up about five months ago when we originally installed all this gear. So, second to, or third to last connection as we straighten everything up. Oh! Oh, I thought I, just, I felt a shock, but it was just this. It was pinching on my, uh, on my finger, but obviously it wasn't a shock. So, what do you think of this style of video, everybody? Where I'm kind of just doing what I ordinarily would do, but not like making a huge edited video um, out of it. it. It makes things a lot easier for me, but from your point of view, uh, uh, that's what mo is most important to me. So in, in the comments below, let me know what you most like to see. Tighten this up fully. Yep, and now we can move on to the grounds, which is the centermost connection here with the big boy right there. It makes everything look absolutely beautiful and uh, the symmetry of it is really right up my alley. So all we have to do is take these two little stragglers and put them onto the bars, but that will be actually our mounting points for the lithium. So that will be the last thing that we do. So right now, let's just go ahead and position this up there and fold it over like a New York slice. Just like this, get everything all positioned. And like we said before, these are not gonna have any bit of spark. Oh shit, wait, can't forget the most important part, our straggler here. <laughs> Another reason why I wanted to make a video like this to show you guys that certain things go, uh, you know, sometimes you forget about certain things. Get everything positioned just right. I actually had to do this one first just cause it was lining up a little bit better, but basically we're at the same spot we were, so you haven't missed out on anything and it lines up. And there we go. I'd say it's official. The JYs are officially back in and wired. I can just, you know, finagle these wires around a little bit just to even the spacing up because they were bent for so long, a couple of days. There we go, just even the spacing out, make it look just a little bit better. Nice, guys. So what do you think? It's not completely done for the show, uh, coming up this weekend, but it's a good start and I wanted to get all the you know the batteries topped off before we get going down there So it'll be a definitely a great weekend and I can't wait to get some good bass demos from it So stay tuned guys. Whew. Oh my god. Look at my hands. So pruney. Oh, that is gross <gasps> All right guys, I think this is gonna have to just about do it uh, for today Everything's all finished back here except for our safety ties, which I'm going to uh, just put uh, right down here so the batteries don't move uh, anywhere because they're already strapped right here. This single piece of steel will help it from moving up and down on those bumps. So I'll do that with my impact uh, real quick, but I'm gonna cut the video short and just say thank you guys. Again, huge thanks to all my supporters on Patreon. There is a link in the description in case you wanna be a contributing member to the channels here. We'll add your name to the toolbox depending on which tier you do, or add your name into the YouTube credits uh, for our little bit of an outro supporter. Uh, thank you. So, uh, I hope this uh, was enjoyable for you guys. Again, let me know what you think of this style of video, just coming at you guys raw form, not worrying about transitions and all that crazy stuff. So, all right, I'll talk to you in the next one. Woo!